Awesome. Want me to grab it? You got it? Okay. Nice one, yeah, it's at least 15. <clears throat> Let me see that. It's a 15. Yeah, 15, barely. Maybe. Nice one. Six, fifteen, sixteen. Nope. It's a fish. Pretty decent fish. Here we go again. Man, this four pound test, I gotta switch it out for six. Yeah. It's a walleye? It's either walleye or pike. It's a nice walleye. If it's a walleye. Here, can you take my pole out of my hand so I can grab it here? Just pull it towards you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Sounds funny. It's tucked in my, my belt buckle. This is like the, <laughs> the dumbest pole to get this on. A, a braided four pound test on an ultralight. I don't think it's a pike. It's moving pretty fast. Sometimes you can get the pike just barely on the edge of the lip and he'll be okay, but once in a while. Oh my gosh. Monster. Monster walleye. Boom! <laughs> Look at that guy! Holy cow! 22, 22 and a half incher? <laughs> oh man, I got my tape over there. Here, I'll, I'll do it on a flat surface. Wow, first cast or second cast. <laughs> oh man. Man, every time. Just can't get away from these big walleye. <laughs> wow, that is a huge walleye. Might even be a 23, probably closer to 22 though. Man, lucky I didn't break this line. It's, it's, it has all sorts of cuts on it and stuff from the rocks, from jigging. But I got him on this little 16th ounce curly tail jig here. Gorgeous fish. Just get a measure on him, maybe take a picture and then release him. Man, big walleye. <laughs> Tape measure's all screwed up. Just used to, let's see, where can I do this? Hmm, nowhere's really that flat, but whatever. Maybe right here. I'll just use the middle of the tape and subtract the numbers. If you know what I mean? Wasn't ready to catch a nice fish. First, first fish, baby. Man, oh man. All right, this is gonna be a little rough. Might be a quarter inch off or whatever, but that's a solid 22, I think. All right, I'm gonna start on the 20, and he's 42 and a quarter, which makes him 22 and a quarter. Oh man, gorgeous walleye. Here, wait, sh hold up for a camera. Hold up for the camera. 
17, 18? Somewhere around there? I can't really see that far away. Looks like a fish to me. Yeah. <laughs> Getting a good episode. Can I get a royal piece? Another nice walleye. Wow. nailing them. Another nice one. And that would be a limit in about 10 minutes, wouldn't it? If we were keeping them. Not bad. 15, 16. Cool. <laughs> you would have limited it out in 10 minutes. <laughs> Man, this fishing's good. Fish are stacked here right now. I don't know why I'm still using this pole. I should switch over to my other one. It's a wall. I see the yellow. Ooh, it's a nice one. Yeah, definitely a nice one. Not bad. Oh baby, not bad at all. Yeah, probably an 18. Beautiful fish. I'm just on a black curly tail with a plain head, 1 8 ounce. Awesome. Man, really good fishing right here, right now. School of walleyes are just sitting here. Whoa! Yeah. Not bad fish. Oh yeah, pretty heavy fish. I think it's a walleye. Not as big as the first one. Around that current break there. Okay, not bad. 15, 16. Yeah, 15 or 15 and a half. Got him on this 1 8 ounce um, peanut butter and jelly curly tail jig. Hold you. Holy cow, it's huge. Jeez. Said 24 inch smallmouth when he cast out a sassy shad. Hooked into a monster smallie. You gotta land this, it's too big. It's an awesome fish. Easy 18. You want me to. Okay. Wow, big smallmouth bass. Where is he? Where'd he go? He's down a little bit. Oh, him okay. I lost track of the line for. He hasn't even gotten pissed yet. Yeah, take him into the shallows so I can. I don't want to touch your line, but. I don't have much control over this. I wish I brought the net. I don't know exactly how big he is, but he looked like a 19 out in the water there. Who knows? Could be even bigger. I don't know. In this current, I have no control. Oh yeah, huge, huge, man. 
just take it easy. He'll wear out. That's probably, that could be a, yeah, he's 18 to 20. Real big. Barely got him hooked. Here, you want me to? Yeah, kind of. Wait, wait. Nice, Molly. Wow. wow. <laughs> Look at that chunk. Barely hooked. Wait for the camera. Yeah, that's a 19. That's a solid smallmouth bass. Wow. Man, nice. Got him on that sassy shed there. Beautiful. That's a huge smallmouth. You want to measure him? Yeah, let's measure him. Wow. That's a chunk. Awesome fish. Big walleye, big smallmouth. <laughs> this is the spot right now. Oh, I gotta drop. That's a couple pounds. Yeah, for sure. He's, he's probably a solid three pounder. I'm gonna get a picture for Katie. Okay. They got the video. Well, another day at the job. Yeah. I got the tape kind of set up as best I can. Right. You want me to do it or you want to? Oh, here you do it. Okay. Just start it on like the, the, start it around 20 and then subtract 20. 20 to? Yeah, 18. 18, three quarters, maybe 18 and uh, four fifths. Real close to 19. There, get a, pic get a picture for me. Yep. Looks like he's got another one. Turn him back on, eh? Yeah. yeah. 15 or 16. Might, might, might hit 16. Nice. He's got another one. And he's killing them. Looks like a 16 inch walleye. Cool. Big dead carp. Nasty. <laughs> Digged up the most disgusting thing in the river. Huge fish. Holy cow, is that bass? Here, hold on, hold on. How big is it? It's fine. There, wait, I got it, I got it. I got it on eight. Don't touch the line. Don't 
touch the line. Don't touch the line. Get away from it. I got it. Don't worry. Holy cow. That's the biggest bass I've ever caught in my life by far. Oh my god, that is a big one. Like a 22. Holy fucking shit, dude! Wow, that's a huge camera. That's a huge smallmouth. Oh my goodness! Wow, trophy smally almost, just about. See how long he is here. Get a picture with him. Let him go. I got it. Got him on the 23 to 42. That's a... 19 incher. No. 20, I've caught 19 inches before. This guy hey, seems bigger. That's 19, dude. Huh, I thought he was bigger than that. Yeah, hey, he's a fucking huge one, dude. dude. I've caught 19s before. I've caught him this big. I thought he was a 20. The biggest I've ever caught was a 22 inch. The biggest I've ever seen was like 24. No. Uh, world records. Um, 27 for a smallmouth. I've caught largemouth way bigger than this, but no smallmouth. Here, wait, wait. I'm taking a video. Oh, you really? Wow. Yeah. Nice. Don't let him go. I need a picture with him. Oh, yeah. There you go, bro. That's a heavy guy. Yeah, this is the like third one I've caught over 19, but. No, that's not seven pounds. It's not even. That's not seven pounds. There's no way. It's four pounder. 3 4. Guaranteed. Really? Yep. You can weigh it? You can weigh it by the way? Yeah, I can weigh it. Wait. Seven pound smallmouth would be sick. at least 24, 25 inches. Oh, I'd call him 19 and a half. There he goes. Awesome. Beautiful smallmouth. Oh, Little bass. Can you back up? Thanks. Another nice one. Well, not bad. Cool. Thought it was a little better than that, but it's hard to feel it in that current. <laughs> He's got his tail chopped off from rod or something. Probably at 14 or close to it. Maybe if he had the rest of his tail, he would be. There we go. Nailing them. I'm the only guy catching anything, because I'm the only guy twitching it. Cool. Man, they feel way bigger on the current. It's a little 12. Getting them on these jigs. Cool. Wow, nice bass. Real nice. Two in one day. Get back for it. What's that? Not as nice as like other ones, but in that current, it's like. I thought that looked like an 18. Yeah. I guess I'm way off. Look pretty big to me. Oh, maybe not. In the current, holy yeah, I know. They feel like they're they're 25s in the current. It's crazy. Yeah, nice bass for sure. Cool. <laughs> you want some help? Cool.
cool. On the sassy shad. <laughs> Pretty nice. Yep. 16 or so. Yeah. Beautiful. Whoa, little 12 incher, 12, 13 on that on that curly tail jig. There's one. Man, this is good fishing. Wow. Man, can't believe I caught a 19 and a half inch smallie, just about 19 and a half. This one's probably 14 or close to 14. Keep getting them on different curly tail jigs. Cool. I'm on my own now. My fishing buddy's gone. He had to go. Another smallie. Not too big, but it feels like a monster in this current. <laughs> that 19 and a half earlier felt like a 24. It felt huge, like he was an eight pound bass out in this crazy current. See how hard that one fought? And he's only like a, whew, maybe 11 incher. To get him on these jigs with bright heads. Cool. Moved back to the first spot that we were at this morning. Got a fish on a curly tail jig. Ooh, it's a walleye. Man, great walleye fishing today. Not a bad one. All of these walleyes would have been keepers if we kept them. I don't think we caught one that was under, as far as I remember. Under 15. That one's a solid 16. Could even be a 16 and a half. Probably safe bet's right around 16. Yeah, that's what I'd say. Cool. Ooh. Man, he followed it up twice. I thought it was a smallie because they're rising. Weird. Followed it up and hit it twice though. It's a walleye. Whoa, whoa, whoa there walleye. Whoa, careful. Jeez, got you right in the eye. About, I don't know, at least 15 and a half I'd say. Cool. Probably around 15 and a half. Started jigging it hard and got a hard hit. Starting to rain pretty bad, but whatever. This might be a smallie. I see bronze. Hear that or a big walleye. Oh, it's a big walleye. Oh, my, man. Wow. Not bad. Second nice walleye of the day. Oh, not that bad, at least. Thought he was a 20, but, well, he's at least a 19, I'd say. He's probably around 19, maybe 19 and a half. Big walleye, not bad at all. Well, pretty big, you know, good size. Nice walleye on that purple, uh, that purple jig. I'm around 19 or so. See you, buddy. There's a little fish. Fighting like a rock bass. He's doing that little sputter thing with its tail. Cool, yep, little rocky. There's the jig and there's the rock bass, about six inches or so. I just saw, I was walking over to this pillar basically, or see there's another abutment over there. I walked across this little shallow area right here and there was a 20, a walleye between 20 and 24 I'd say, right there. And it was like knee deep water. It was just sitting there. This light um, lights up uh, scavenger and predator eyes on like mammals, but it also lights up walleye eyes. And that's how I found him. So you just look in the water and you can you can see walleyes. It's awesome. Keep catching rock bass, I think. Walleyes probably turned off. Yeah, this one's even smaller. Another rock bass on a jig. Probably five incher. If that. <laughs> Real tiny. There's a little bass, rock bass maybe.
cool. Another six incher or so, this time on a F7 or 9 Rapala. I hopped over to the next spot. It's going to rain all night, but I'm going to try and stay out all night and all day after staying out all afternoon yesterday and working half a day before that. But it's going to be a crazy trip, that's for sure, as long as I stay out long enough. Little bear fish. Ooh, big rock bass. Thought it was a smallie for a second. Yeah, nice, probably nine incher on the F7 or I think it's the F9 Rapala. I think I haven't looked at them in a while. I think that's F9. Um, cool. Not bad rock bass at all. Well, there's a nice smallie. Oh yeah, starting to think they weren't here. 20 or 30 casts, at least 30 probably. Hmm. <clears throat> oh yeah, nice fish. 15 and a half. Between 15 and 16 for sure at least 15 and a half. I'd say got them on that F um, F whatever Rapala Don't really know the size probably F9 man nice fish <laughs> It's probably Midnight if you're wondering and only about halfway through the trip. This is awesome Little fish again this time on a spinner Cool. Rock bass. Six or so inches, six to seven. Cool. This little Panther Martin spinner here. Just rolling along the bottom under the street light. Uh, so, I napped in my car a little bit, but um, I'm still going at it. It flooded last night. I don't understand why there's a bluegill in this puddle, though. Because it didn't flood that much. <laughs> That's really weird. Here, let's save it, I guess. I don't think anyone was over here, though. That's the weird thing. Like, I don't remember... There was no one parked there. That's my truck. So I don't think anyone threw it there, but... Maybe someone did, but... I don't know. Really strange. How did you get there? Oh cool, he's gonna make it, nice. Big fish just took it. He definitely bit down on it. Whoa, man. Whatever he is, I got him on a bucktail jig. He was sitting right there. This could be a muskie. Man, he is strong. This is eight pound testing. I'm maxing the rod out on him. Now turn. Turn fish. Ooh, strong, man. Could just be an active cart, but I don't think that usually happens in July. Could also be a pike. Oh no, don't go over there. That wall, I hate that wall. Trying to get an angle on the wall here. Don't cut me off. <sighs> Can't really move him. Oh shoot, line's catching on the wall. Smart fish. Big fish. Holy cow. There we go, he's moving back out. Awesome. Man, big fish on a bucktail jig. I was just fishing here probably an hour or two. Nothing. Here and a couple other spots. 
absolutely nothing. And then boom, huge fish. Fast fish. Carper and muskies, my bet. He definitely bit it, whatever it was. I felt him clamp down on it. Oh, I hope I get this fish in. I never get muskies in. They always throw the hook. Okay, here's where I gotta be careful with him. Real lucky I wasn't using the four pound test. Well, he rolled, I didn't really see what he was though. Could be a carp, who knows. At least let me see what you are, please. No, oh, no, no, no more, no more running, please. Just wanna get you in before you throw the hook or something dumb like that. I should have my polarized sunglasses right now. Oh, big carp. Wow. That's what he is. All right, at least I got to look at him. That's really neat. He bit exactly the same way as that fish the other day that I caught. Or that I almost caught. I don't know if I'm going to upload a video of it because it was just me losing a fish. But he basically just clamped down on it. I felt it, the tap on the line. And uh, he did the circles just like this. It must have been another big carp. It's in a different pool downstream. Hooey baby. Oh. Shoot, line caught in a rock again. Alright, see if I can easy in here. I was really hoping you were a musky. Ow. Hand sore from all the fishing. I'm glad I had eight pound test. Not really ready yet. I'm going for it. would have been if I had four pound test he would have just cut me off in that wall probably that's really neat I mean I've heard of catching carp on lures in spring but not really in the summer but that's really cool that that's what's going on yeah oh man big carp Big carp, not a lightweight, heavy, big carp. Oh, I'll play him carefully. This is a, at least a 20 pounder. Man, I think it's a carp. Yeah, definitely a carp, huge carp. That could be a 30 pounder. Hard to tell from here, but it's real big. See him, he's like a foot under the surface when he rises. Saw him a couple times. Definitely a carp. Ow. Man, my arm is so sore. No, no more runs, please. Just get in here. Yeah. Well, since I'm talking, um, one thing I wanted to say is, um, when I said that bass earlier was a 19 and a half, that smallmouth, um, I didn't mean like I stretched it to 19 and a half. It was... Just those guys were bugging me when I was filming and I couldn't really focus. But I remeasured it after they left, right before I released the bass, and it was a solid 19 and a half. Probably close to four pounds. Probably, I don't know, I caught a 19 and an eighth the other day off camera, and um, it wasn't quite as hefty as that fish. And it was uh, three and a half pounds when I measured it, or weighed it, but whew, big carp. Um, but, uh, yeah, he's going to go 20 pounds solid. Maybe I'll weigh him. Carp on a bucktail jig. That is cool. Big carp. And people keep telling me these 20 inch carp are big. But they really aren't. This is a big carp. Carp that are 3 feet or close to 3 feet are big to me. See, there's the bucktail jig. I wasn't lying. He bit on a lure. Still a lures only episode. So I'm only using lures. And heavy carp. And a big carp. Holy cow. Huge carp. Wow. Look at the size of that carp. Here's my hand. You saw my hand compared to that bass. That This carp is... 
as almost as long as my tape measure. This is a big carp. At least at least 34. He might be 35, 36. Solid 20 pounds. Oh man. I am so tired. This is not easy. Okay, let's measure him here. Okay, that's on the zero. tough because this is a three foot tape measure <laughs> so it only goes out to three feet yeah, he's he's 34 nice carp I've caught bigger but not by a lot but he's fat too and long and like really thick oh geez that's a heavy carp there's the bucktail sticking out of his mouth again it's really hard to hold out like that holy cow Oh, Here, let's get the bucktail out of his mouth. Maybe I'll weigh him and then release him. If I can get the bucktail out of his mouth, it's probably buried in there. Got on the lip, but their lips are all fatty, so it's not easy. Get them out sometimes. All right, I'm gonna get some uh, some pliers or. Those surgical pliers, if you know what they're called. Oh. Okay. Man. Okay, surgical plier things. Where are you? In here. Well, that's awesome. I'm glad I caught another big fish. This was a fun fight for sure. The little suture things in its mouth here. Or in the in the hook. Rip my bucktail to shreds. Whatever. There we go. Boom. Brown and yellow bucktail. These little suture things off my hands here. Let's weigh them quick. I have two scales on me. I need the one that isn't 15. That's 15. Where's my other one? Deeper down. I think I have it. I should have it. Yeah, it's over here on this side. Holy cow. 50 pound. He's definitely more than 15. Alright, zeroed. Yep, there he is. 20 pounds, 21 pounds, one ounce. This is the highest it went. Oh man. All right. Try to release this beast. Oh. Good carp. One of the better carps I've caught. Long. Man. Okay. All right now. Yep, there he goes. He's good to go. Cool. There's a fish. Another 20 minutes of jigging. Ooh, nice fish. I wonder what it is. At least a strong fish. I don't know if it's nice. I didn't see it yet, but... Oh, decent walleye. Cool. Smaller river, so... You know, this isn't a bad fish for a small river. 16, solid 16 probably, that's my guess. I have the tape measure up, I don't know why I don't just use it all the time. I'll just get a rough guess here. Started on the 4. Hits the 21 almost, so that makes it a 17. Skinny 17. Got him on that... I, I got new bucktail jigs, if you can tell. Um, they're gorgeous. That one's a green and black, 1 8 ounce. Man, doesn't look like a 17 to me, but tape measure doesn't lie, I guess. Finally got that fish jumping on the corner there. It's 
been jumping right there. Oh yeah, it's a large mouth. Wow. Nice fish. Wow, I wasn't expecting that at all. Huh. Man, this is going to be the best episode of all time. This is amazing. Look at this largemouth. Not bad fish at all. Nice river largemouth, man. These things aren't that frequent, especially compared to smallmouth. It's pretty obvious, but... Got them on that bucktail jig, root beer, or not bucktail, curly tail jig, root beer color with black fleck. Yeah, he's a solid 16. Man, gorgeous largemouth bass. That was worth jigging for like an hour. That was worth it. Got the tape measure right here. Just tell you exactly how long he is. Yeah, 16 and almost 16 and a quarter. Man, nice bass. What a good day of fishing. Or a good trip, whatever. Afternoon, night, and morning. Man. Crazy. So many nice fish. Beautiful fish. Let him go here. I, oh, in case you're wondering, I haven't kept any of the fish this trip. I let them all go. Me and my, my friend from yesterday. Another little bass. Oh, shoot, he's stuck in some fishing line there. Whoa, someone else's line. Um, Got him on this weird jig I made with a rubber worm and a 16th ounce head. Kind of a long, wispy jig. A little six, seven inch largemouth bass. Awesome. Look at this raging current. Must have went up three feet since I, I left. Man, 